siblings and welcome back to my channel. Today you are literally, quite literally, in for a ride. Hey, we, I'm trying to watch football up here. JD, stop being over dramatic. If you guys are new, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. I'm Cindy, this is my fiance Don, and Hi. these are my future in-laws. Hello! <laughs> so, today we are driving from Utah where the wedding was yesterday. His brother just got married. And we are driving to Vegas. So it's about a five hour drive, I believe. And we just left about 30 minutes ago. And I thought Ooh. it'd be really funny to just vlog like road trip to Vegas and then once we get there, this family's crazy. So we just stopped at a gas station, got Barks. Barks is the best root beer out of all the root beers in the whole world. Uh, would you right agree with that? Barks. I would 100%. Okay, wait, wait. Let's rate the root beer. So number one, Barks. Barks. And then I think Mug. Mug. And, and then, then A&W. And then Mug. Ooh. Uh, what else did we get at the gas station? You got it? I got some it. Airheads. You got some and chips And I got there. chips ahoy chewy. Chewy all the way. If you like crunchy, Go away. You got some issues. Unsubscribe. We don't even no, want don't you here. No, don't unsubscribe. We gotta no, love we everyone. Don't, no, we have we to love everyone. We do not want them here. No, we love everyone. But, yeah, unsubscribe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my two front teeth got knocked out when I was in eighth grade, so they're fake. I wouldn't be able to do this with a crunchy cookie. Yeah, so get you out of here. You missed it! The whole point of it! <laughs> didn't even break my teeth. I love the Same shadows. Process. I was just angle. Mm, hi. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. What are you doing? Oh, it's blurry. Sandy's trying so hard to take a picture of the song instead of just asking said. about it. She thinks it's funny because it's called Sex on Fire. Who are you sending it to? It's literally the bear. <laughs> <laughs> We got JD watching football. It was on full blast about one minute ago. I was tuning it in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta tune yeah, it in. You had to adjust the signal on his phone. Before you start okay, boomer. So if you don't have good signal, like if you don't, you have like one bar, just turn your phone volume I all the way up. It on and it was already. <laughs> 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 you guys are just being jerks. We've got Niall, our driver slash DJ. I'm He's also DJing roll. our wedding, so you know he's got the good jams. Oh, yeah. Sandy is typically playing this game. Will you pull up your game for us? <laughs> On full volume. so she On full her. volume. <laughs> this one, she loves playing this game. We gotta guess the word, but she can never guess the word. It makes us guess it instead. So you always get she it right. guesses like 90,000% of them, and then like the 1% she doesn't 90, get. 90,000%. <laughs> Wow. She knows her pictures and words. Wow. <laughs> it's like she went to kindergarten or something. So, if you guys didn't know, Dallin's family is all from Canada. Like, Sandy and JD were both born, raised and in Canada. And oh, and I'm wearing my Canadian shirt today. <laughs> so, they like have words that Canadians say that Americans don't say. And those of you who are, who are Canadian will probably laugh at this. So, I have been slowly integrating Canadian words into my language so I can fit in at their house. We have three words. Comment down below if you think they know what they mean or what you think they mean. So these are the three words I've learned so far and I was just so confused as to what everyone, everyone just kept saying the word and I was like, what are we talking about? So number one, Garburator. Number two, Chesterfield. And number three, what was it? To a toque? A toque. A toque. <laughs> you can't even say it. I am. It doesn't make sense. Um, Welcome back. Welcome back. Here's the answers. Hopefully you comment down below. A garburator is a garbage disposal. In your sink. I, I, in your sink. I grew up calling it that and then I went over to the McGee's one day and said, oh, let me throw this in like the garburator and you guys were like, <laughs> I was so you guys, confused. the whole McGee family was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, the garburator. And we're like, what is that? And then I was at Sandy's house and she kept saying garburator and I was like, Sandy, I don't know what you mean, but it's a garbage disposal in your sink. Uh, a garbage disposal was like a trash compactor and a garburator was in the sink. That, I mean, that makes sense. garburator honestly makes more sense and it's less, like it's easier to say. I got in trouble at school one time for that. So next, the Chesterfield is a couch. It's yeah. just like a normal couch or a specific time of couch. What is it? It's just a couch. Just a couch? Sofa? Yeah, I don't understand that at all whatsoever. It doesn't make sense, but it is a thing. Okay, so then the last one is a toque. 
Yeah. Which I was. This happened this morning. Yeah, we I, learned this. I so it is like a snow hat of like a beanie. A ski hat. A ski hat. So I put it on. I put my beanie on, and JD put a flower in it, and goes, "Look, there's a flower in your toque." And I was like, "My what?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Your toque." I was like, "Uh, I don't know what you're talking it's about." It's not a body part. <laughs> It's your hat, and I was like, "Oh, well, thanks for the awkward moment, Canadians." <laughs> There's your Canadian vocab of the day. Yes, thank you for Wait, participating. Yeah. Come on, let's bump. This song reminds me of when I jumped on a nail. If you haven't watched that video and you like gory stuff, then go check it out. My friends were like, "Turn on the music," and I'm like passing out and like blasted this song. I would in the car because I like tuned out for a second and then it was dark and then we were here so I don't know. Dallin's such a good fiance. He's holding my bag because I brought a duffel and it's like way too heavy and I'm doing his bag. This is what it's like traveling with JD. We're all going a nice normal pace and he's like sprinting ahead. Also I just want everyone to know that I'm marrying into a family whose dad wears a hat that has hair on it because he's bald. Please help me. Oh, Vegas God. baby! Woo! Hello. Oh, there we go. Now we can raise the roof, literally. Here is our hotel room. We've got this big bathroom, which conveniently... Oh, I forgot that we could do that. Wow. Anyway, it has two sinks, so that'll be nice for getting ready tomorrow. Um, nice shower. We got a bathtub. Toilet. I'm glad there's a toilet. You know, always want one of those. And then we've got chaos over here. Me and Sandy's bed. Yes. JD and someone else's bed and and then someone in bed is on the floor. And ta-da! I already did. Ooh. Whoever's DJing just wants it to be raved so bad. Wow, look at all these chickens. I just wanna add that I've gotten no sleep the past three days. I got one hour sleep the first day, I got five hours of sleep the second day, and I got six hours of sleep last night. And now I'm like really tired, but we're going out um, onto the trip, so wish me luck. Also, the four sides are all like 10 feet tall, have really long legs, oh, so I have to like run to keep luck, up with babe. them. I'm like, sorry. look how fast he's walking. I'm walking normal, and he's like 100 feet ahead of me already. I don't know what to do. Dal, yeah, let's get you some cute clothes. What's your outfit? Oh my gosh. We don't really know what it was. Maybe it was a marathon or something, but the strip the was strip closed, closed today. I'm yeah. so bad at focusing. The strip was like closed today, so there's no cars, which I've never seen before, and it's really cool. So, please enjoy. Wow. Say if you forget your sunscreen, around here you'll get a, a sunburn from all the TVs. All the whites. Wow. Look at it. Like what? Sunset there's literally strip. no one. Time for the waterfall show. What do you call these? I don't know. Anyway, here you go. And all that just spot where the gym is Okay, I was just thinking this, and I don't know why this popped in my head, but I've never seen water Whoa. look so cute in my life. Like, I just want to pet it. Like, it looks so cute. Like, it seems like a cute little puppy, and I just want to pet it. Wow. Wow. Holy, it's like Niagara Falls over there. Oh, it's going to be big. <laughs> oh, oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got him. Look nothing. at all the strip, oh, and then oh, there's oh, our hotel. Oh. It's so like. Don't think, miss it. I think our room is it. right below those palm trees. Oh yeah, because we have like that right awkward like roof yep. view. We okay, we moved over more by the Bellagio because we could not see where we were. We got a great view. Now we have a great view. Wow, it's so great, isn't it? Wow, this I is just, beautiful. It's so pretty. Wow. This is like I, the best view I've ever seen. I wish I could seen. share this with just everyone. I know, it's I wish so I could like amazing. put it on the internet for thousands wow. of people to see, but wow. This is the best part of the trip. Look at that. All right, should we go? Okay. All right, bye. Okay, I'll actually show you guys now. Okay, it's like too bright. <laughs> I love Whoa. the lighting. Yeah, that'd be some prime selfie lighting. Whoa! 
Holy! <laughs> wow. oh, oh my gosh, what is happening? What is bullshit? This show is way better. There is no glad stopping. We, glad we stayed for it. Oh, oh, look at the little pieces. What? Well, I'm glad we stayed for the second show because that was epic. Why does my camera not focus if it's like dark outside? I just have to do it further away, but I have really short arms. I need you. Oh. Dal, do you need a shoe? I know you yeah. forgot your tennis shoes, so. Should yeah, it should fit, size. okay. Right, I don't know about you guys. You know, but I'm going I always this way. love a good revolving door. You know Ready? It's about to be Ready, go. 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 Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Don't push on them, that's why it stops. What? Yeah, I thought it goes because you push on them. It's too oh. pushy. Oh! Look at it. Oh! Wow! And look at like the floor, it's like pure like white. Well, I mean, there's like other colors in it, but... It's Hindu. It's Hindu. You know what I mean. It's a hip. Whoa! Look at that! It's like so dope. It goes from like straight white to like all the colors. Okay, someone's a little extra who built this, but no, I'm kidding. It looks so epic in here. Hey, Niles. It's crazy. This is making me miss Ace. I'm any sort of like cat family. Are these considered me in the cat family? Yeah, they're just okay. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, kidding. yeah. It makes me miss Ace. Okay, they're called Tigers. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Once again, proving my point that JD was just like 10 feet ahead of everyone. Uh, and these nice Jandals. They're called Jandals because his name's Gerald. Yes, Gerald Jandals. Gerald Jandals. That's chocolate. Whoa, are we in Charlie Chocolate Factory or what? I think we officially found Sandy's dream world. <laughs> she loves chocolate. Oh, Dallin, is that you? <laughs> Point proven, part three. But let's just take a count of how many times. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna record it every time. He's like so far ahead, we can barely see him. Okay, okay it's all, Boomer. It's all 30 feet ahead. We're all walking like a nice, good, even kind of a fast pace. But he, he is like basically running. He's like obviously full sprinting, as you can tell by the socks. movement. He's a <laughs> That just showed how many steps ahead he was. Legs wow. are so long. No one can stop me, I'm on my way up. How many stairs do you cover? Six. Five. Can reach that one? <laughs> four. I tried my best. One, two, three, four, five. I can do five. Nice. Oh. All right, now you have to stay in this position while you get up. All right, Sid, love to see it. Six, stand. Oh, look at that oh. dismount. So we are gonna take the tram now. I've never done this before. I've only Wait, been to Vegas one at a time. But we're gonna take, oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're running. I guess we're running. Going, 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 going. Why are we going to the end? What's the deal? Okay, we made it. Anyway, basically what I was saying is that I don't know what we're doing or where we're going. The worst part about walking is you know you have to walk back when you're tired. I'm already tired. I'm out of breath. I'm tired, my feet are... Never mind, I'm having a great time. We need to hook you up with like a Red Bull. Yes. It's like he already got off. We're all still like at the top. Social security number. <laughs> when you get so close to someone, you absorb their social security number. <laughs> wow. Oh, he just rounded the corner. Another struggle with being Sydney McGee is that fast movements or like bumpy car rides make me itchy. So the fact they were walking so fast, I have to itch myself like, like, ah, I'm so itchy, I'm so itchy, I'm so itchy. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so this is the only way I can keep up. Oops, my camera died, I'm really bad at changing batteries. So unless there's something really good, we'll just see you tomorrow. So something cool happened, so I'm on my phone. Um, we're in the like pyramid one, if you've ever been to Vegas. And if you look up and look forward, you get like so unbalanced. I literally feel like I'm floating. I don't, I'm... That's making me dizzy. <laughs> also... I think I'm gonna pass out soon. Hey, we're about to try to ride in an elevator, and they go sideways because it's, it's, it's a pyramid. So yeah, hit critical point of sleep deprived. Yeah. We couldn't find the elevator, so we gave up. And then I threw my jacket and said, I'm done. Because look how far we have to walk for no reason. Oh, take me home. Why am I here? Do you want to jump in my pocket? Can I please? I'm coming in your pocket. <laughs> what if you could just drink me and put me in your pocket? That'd be so nice. Song, that'd be so You're about to cry.
I know, because I'm so tired and I just want to be in your pocket. It's okay. Everyone's walking so fast because they're really tall and they have long legs. And I have really short legs and I just, it's like 10 steps for every one step. <laughs> Sydney, what? we need to go now. Suck it up. Okay. Sid, do it. Okay. You only YOLO one? How's it going, Sid? We're uh, climbing to the top of the pyramid. Well, this describes how Sid is feeling right now. We're pretty close. Aw. She's feeling great. Great way to introduce her to the fam. I've never been in my life. What, what just happened? Oh, I was on my own shoulder and I was like, oh my gosh, you're never this tall. And I literally just screamed, I've never been this high in my life. And everyone laughed and this guy said, I'm right with you. <laughs> what, happened? what happened, Sydney? Alright, Sid's about to pass out. I feel like so. the earth is pushing me into the ground. Oh, I can see the room, but it's so I feel like the far. earth is pulling me. I feel like the hallway is just stretching and I can never get there. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Sid's about to like break. Hello guys and welcome to day two of Vegas. I'm well rested. I got a good amount of sleep last night, but I'm still really tired, so I'll probably need a Red Bull. But I'm getting ready. We are about to head out. I think we're gonna go to like a mall or something. I don't really know what today's plan is. Last night we just walked around and I was literally so tired. I was delirious. Okay, me and Dallin are leaving the hotel room finally. And his family is on his way to pick us up. Um, how the heck do we get out of here? Wait, where'd he go? Dallin? Oh, there you are. I was like, where did you go? I realized they left us a room. Oh, yeah, we need that. There's like 12 different ways to get in this hotel and they're picking us up at a certain entrance and we don't know how to get there, so wish us luck. Perfect, we actually did it. Yay. Oh. Hello, peoples. Oh, I'm locked out. There we go. Ooh, fancy. This is seriously the biggest mall I've ever seen. It's like 12 years long. That doesn't even make sense. I tried my best. I don't know. I haven't eaten today. I'm just like, don't know what's happening. Holy, that Feel truck that? drove by and like shook the whole place. Anyway, ooh, are you flexing on us? Oh, we yep. just made it to the mall. This mall is yeah. absolutely huge. First, we're getting food and then we'll go shopping. Wow, it's so nice. We just came from Utah where it's like two degrees and snowing and, and windy. windy. And now it's like 80 degrees, sunny, getting a tan. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Every time I'm in a mall, I always get the Chinese food because mall so Chinese good. food is always so good for some reason. Like, you just already know that's gonna be good. All right, we just got done eating. We got this like really spicy jalapeno and we're literally dying. Like, my mouth is on fire. This mall is literally huge and it's so packed. I'm already lost, I don't know what's happening. All right, we're at a crossroad, left to right. Okay, Choose. left. left to right. Okay, left. Okay, so we're shopping for accessories for the wedding. I already got my earrings I'm gonna wear down here. So I'm looking for one to wear in my cartilage. I think I wanna get this because it's perfect. I could do a diamond, a regular stud, or some hoops. Then I'm gonna get these because I have three piercings, so perfect. Okay, so we're compromising because marriage is about compromise. And I get to go into a store and then he gets to go into a store. And then we both get about five minutes. Whoa. I went a little over, I'm sorry. So you can go a little over in the next one. Adidas? Yeah, okay, yeah we both want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, we both so. do. So I don't own any zipper jackets. I only own pullovers and hoodies. We have the black one. This one's way softer. I think I'm gonna go with this. Also, I don't own any sweatpants. I only own joggers, so I'm getting these. All right, comment down below. Is Dallin the type to pull off a pink zipper? I honestly don't think you pull it off. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, this. you look great. I just wanted to try it. But like, you know, if it was white, it'd be dope. Too. Yeah. Okay, wait, you might want a medium or a large. I don't know if I'm in love with that. I'm over the store, let's go. What, you're not gonna get anything? I don't know what to get. You just like got over it within like one second. We're headed to Top Golf. <laughs> I keep joking. <laughs> These are my sweatpants. <laughs> it's got a thumbs up, not my sweatpants. I actually got them too small, but I think they fit fine. Uh, oh well, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Top Golf. I haven't been there in a very long time, so it'll be fun. We made it. And the sun is setting. Look how pretty. So far, JD and I are literally hitting them almost over the net all the way at the very end. So it'll be funny when I go because it'll go like 10 feet. Yes. This one's gonna be a 
banger all the way in the back. Um, I mean, height works too. Okay, so we're at the Gucci store and we found a ring we really like. So I was like, darling, you should get it as your wedding ring. So she's going to get a size just so we can see if we even like the way it looks on him. That's the ring, this first one right here. It's pretty dope. And I mean, it's unique. So I don't know anyone else has a Gucci wedding ring like yeah, that. We'll have to see if it's your style though. So we're at this buffet that JD brought us to and it is amazing. I've only had like two bites so far, but it's, it's already so good. <laughs> JD trying to flex on everyone. I got French onion soup, but since you can self-serve, I just got the broth. And then, oh my gosh, let me just go show you how big this buffet is. It's like in the Eiffel Tower, and like all of this is like little like food spots. Sandy just walked in with a giant plate of every dessert you could possibly get. And and one carrot, so it's oh, healthy. Oh, it's it's healthy, carrot. yeah, yeah. She's got vegetables. But what she does is she takes one bite of everything so she can try it all. <laughs> JD really hates butter. This is, pe normal people get butter in this thing, JD gets butter in this. And watching the football game. Wow, you are ultimate a mess. <laughs> That's the ultimate dab thing ever. I think Vegas is changing us because we really want to get the Gucci ring. I'm on the fence. But it looks so good on your hand. Like it really matches you, I feel like. Are you saying that? No, I actually think so. Cause like that other ring that you tried on, it just looked stupid. Not gonna lie. <laughs> like I'm not usually one to buy Gucci, like I have my Gucci slides. But that, that's the only thing that I've, I've, I wore them a lot when I got them. True, you did. But now I'm like, yeah. So I just feel like, like you're gonna wear it forever. Yes, and it's Gucci. It's Gucci so you can flex on people. Like I flex all day long. It's time for you to flex. Are we going to Gucci or are we not going to Gucci? I think we should go to Gucci. All right, we're buying it. So we thought more about it and we realized that yeah, the ring is super cool and it'd be really dope to have as like a ring on a random finger because it is dope. But for a wedding ring, that's not really what we want. We want it to mean something between us and not be a brand yeah. that says Gucci Gucci. So maybe one day it'll be a Christmas present, but yeah. we found one online that's called Stardust, which means a lot to both of us. It's like a, like a not an inside joke, just like a like an inside cute thing. Yeah. There so you go. I don't know. We really like that one, and it's from a guy that he really likes. So we'll probably get it online, and yeah. So at least we learned what we don't want. Yeah, and we re ring resize his finger because we didn't know. So he's tired. My feet and legs and everything hurt. See, oh, the worst thing was we didn't bring good walking shoes. Oh yeah, we have terrible walking shoes. So walking. So we're dead. So bad. basically, we're saying good night, strip, and goodbye. We're going to watch Netflix and then go to sleep. We're back in Missouri and we forgot to do an outro. What's of new? Course. But like we said, we just went back to the room and then his whole family showed up. Like what? 10, 20 minutes later. And then we all were like, we're pooped. And we went to sleep and then got up at 4 a.m. the next day and drove home. Drove through. Which whole was day. like a 20 hour drive. We got home at like 3 a.m. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, it'd mean a lot if you could subscribe and turn on the post notifications and help support us. And we oh, love yes. you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.